All right, guys, this is Kai Yi doing the Cross Class Vlog. We're on the Golden Gate Bridge. You know, just saying what's up to all my homies out in VA. What's up, M20? Where else are they? Oh, and they're Hyderabad. Okay, we're graduating. We're Minerva. Oh, there she is. Oh, man. No, I, I just, like, I couldn't believe what I just saw. It was art. <laughs> it was art, guys. So, some of you have been asking about capstone projects, and my good friend, Theodore, has exhibited... You should explain. I can't explain this well. Go. Uh, my capstone project is an exhibit. We're here at a gallery in Berkeley where my art pieces are displayed. In it, I explore different views of nature, um, the way humans interact with it, and what it means to conceptualize of nature in different ways based on how we've grown up, where we come from, the structures that we're embedded in. He displayed art, he made art! So we're here at Chrissy Fields. We just came down from the hike. Um, we walked across the Golden Gate. Uh, just take a moment to think through, you know, you guys have gone through a lot. You're on the bridge. Uh, many of you are here for the first time. Some of you are here for the last time for a while. So just take a moment before doing it and then we'll do it on the count of three. You guys ready? Okay. Do we I'll just do scream we'll across it. out like this yeah, way? Yeah, scream this way. <laughs> Can I take Can a photo? Can we scream with each other? Now we are back. This is supposed to come full circle because we did this in freshman year. If I were to give advice to underclassmen, don't skip rituals. Like, go to them. You're gonna yeah. love it. Look, Natalie's gonna advocate that because she went in freshman year and she came out. How was your experience? Yeah. It was very sentimental because I could compare to that experience. So now I have, I took a video of myself, like talking to my future self in both instances. I can compare them, you know, I can document my God, the process. Oh my God, Mike made us bury uh, notes oh, yeah. at, at the beach and he brought shovels. Definitely it was like, right here. It was definitely not over here. Yeah. I think we give it a good go college try of like 15 minutes. The inaugural dig. Yeah. I think we just like, I think we can just excavate a little bit. This is what they do with dinosaurs. Yeah, it's not quite, but you know. We're at the last 1001. It's gonna be a lot of lasts in yeah. the next two weeks. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> hey Mike, do you want to introduce what's going on here? Uh, 1001, so it's today's Sunday. It's just 5.30. Oh, that's a Mike Snapchat thing. Like a Instagram, like, what time is it? And then you go. It's a 1001. Well, what are we doing? <laughs> it's a feast of 1001s. Tyler made these amazing um, menus. This is what we are eating. So it's all the most, some of the most beloved uh, 1001 dishes we've had here Fancy. over the last four years. Yeah. Alain, what are you doing? I'm frying meat ground beef empanadas. I made almost 100 of them. 100 empanadas? When did you do this first 1001? I did it our freshman year, so we have only 30. And then I did it your freshman year with Tomas and Nico and Yoel. Aww, that's awesome. This looks delicious. So, yeah, so we have a whole load of books with everybody's name written all shiny on them. Um, and Shout out to Kiki for embossing. Each book is going to be like notes Aww. that people have written inside them um, as these like, you know, friendship notebooks things. So it's hopefully gonna be super wholesome and super normal. In the last vlog, uh, I showed like some snippets of the retreat that SXP organized for us. Some people took it upon themselves to organize a student run retreat 2.0. We went to a different campsite. They got budget from Minerva, it was really cool. So apparently they spent less money on this retreat than the previous retreat and um it was all student organized it was like ho cooked food like we had um it was really cool there was a lot of volunteers um uh, there's a lot of like sentimental stuff there's a lot of activities that we did and it was just such a good time This like final 1001 surprise in the dining hall for us. Uh, I guess the last Sunday of our Minerva experience. He bought In-N-Out, <laughs> a lot of In-N-Out, and Alakian had face masks. 
that people were really into. Also, this was great because everybody was like, oh, yes, my skin needs this before graduation. Uh, Charlotte also brought some uh, <laughs> London sodas, but we're hiding them. <laughs> Okay, so the other thing that happened, SXP organized a concert on the hill. It was really cool. Uh, they brought up a drum set and piano to Bernal Heights. <laughs> Let's go, team. We're gonna slide this over. Don't go. We had a whole day dedicated to feedback. Huge shout out to ASM, uh, my Alicia, and Chisholm. They organized the whole feedback session. Like, there was a lot of feedback that was given because I think we have a lot. I think it was really important to give feedback in a constructive way because we want to leave a legacy behind. Okay, so Consequent was uh, comprised of three days. So there was day one of Consequent. We had a three-hour session that included a speed dating session where you got to meet about seven to ten external guests. And then there was a like two hour long discussion. Um, and then we had really special dinners that were like small, um, around eight people per dinner. There were a couple of external guests, a couple of students. And, and it was so inspiring to see people be so, so excited about Minerva. Minerva has been so normal and so like, I guess present in my life in the last four years. And it's exciting to meet people who are as excited about Minerva as I was in my freshman year. And I think we kind of got desensitized how special this experience is. And tomorrow's gonna be crazy. We'll see how much footage we get. The second day, I was moderating a panel called Finding the Avant-Garde. In what domain will the next renaissance bloom? Okay, so some of the sessions include financing change. Why do impact investments often have so little impact? The no bullshit policy, why being authentic leads to greater success. Like very interesting topics. Because Consequent is basically Minerva's version of commencement. So instead of having this huge commencement speech, these sessions were supposed to be that. But they still wanted this like advice giving almost component. So at the end of the day, every single external guest that came to Consequent who has given a commencement speech in a past at other universities had to give their like one sentence commencement speech. And then consequent day three, we just got the opportunity to look for people that we have interacted with on the first or second day, but didn't have the space or time because the schedule was so packed. So you just go there and you find people that you wanted to catch up with and you just sit and eat breakfast and it was very, very nice. Today's the day we transitioned from saying we go to Minerva to saying we went to Minerva. Oh my God. Oh, we didn't, we weren't really told many things about graduation. It's the morning of graduation. We don't know where we're going. Oh my god, I hope there's a boat party. Great. I have a life jacket. I'm ready to You're swim. Giving you executive boat realness. We went to the graduation site. So they created this experience where we would be able to basically see everybody before you leave. So each time slot was a specific theme and specific food, but everybody was going to different rooms. Ooh, it's been an emotional day. So we're all out here yeah. saying bye to faculty and stuff. So at graduation, it was honestly quite overwhelming. Like there was a cool project done by the creative team. Every student recorded a like personalized message to like their family and their friends, whoever's there on graduation night to see them graduate. So what happened during graduation was you're assigned to a different group. There were some speeches and then they told us to go to our specific group. I think the idea was that each student will have a member of the faculty or staff have like a personalized message for you. So my finance professor was that for me. He gave a little speech about me and then we headed to the middle of the venue where there was this huge golden beehive and he pulls something out of it and it was my degree. And then we stood on stage. Take your ingot, which is the key to your diploma and insert it the appropriately sized lock. The ingot is placed in the scroll, or in the dowel of the scroll. So I'm gonna hang the ingot. The tube itself is inserted at the base of the scroll, and the ingot is placed at the top to counterbalance both the weight and the look. I think it's very difficult for me to do this vlog because I have a lot of thoughts about graduation. Could the ceremony have been better? Probably. It's very subjective. Obviously, they had a lot of things to consider. I don't know the constraints they were working with. They wanted to differentiate the ceremony from other universities. I think it was still, I guess, representative kind of of my Minerva experience. I was surrounded by everybody that I loved and like had 
such amazing memories with and we were talking about like how could this have been better it was graduation but it was really nice at the end of the night they just like played music everybody was like going around and hugging each other it was very 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 sweet i want to have a little space for me to insert all the clips that people sent me i have really enjoyed my time and minerva i'm not just saying this because this will be public even with graduation i didn't sugarcoat i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that minerva is the best thing that has ever existed in this world i don't know if it is it has been the best thing that has happened to me. I have really enjoyed my time at Minerva and I say that very genuinely. I'm really excited to see what will happen next. We're already talking about alumni stuff, how to stay connected with the community. Also with like Minerva as an institution, I would definitely not have given this up for the world. I'm so proud to be a Minerva student. I'm so, so happy. Um, this was my journey and oh i'm getting emotional i really hope you have enjoyed watching my vlogs yeah thanks for watching <laughs>